Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. First in the news, one of the greatest singers in all the world, Luciano Pavarotti, has passed away. Known as one of the three tenors, Luciano died after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. Luciano, you will always be remembered. Next in the news, Whoopi Goldberg has become a permanent host on ABC's The View, and by all accounts, she's doing a fantastic job. Next week, The View will welcome comedian Sherry Shepard as a permanent host, finally filling the vacancy created when Star Jones was dismissed from the show. And Jennifer Lopez has won a $545,000 arbitration settlement against her ex-husband, Ohani Noah. He had reportedly written a tell-all book and wanted $5 million from Jennifer to refrain from publishing it. Well, an LA area superior court judge sided with Ms. Lopez and her team of attorneys. Now, Mr. Noah, who lost the case, had brilliantly decided to represent himself. And folks, R&B singing sensation Usher is selling his Atlanta area home. It has five bedrooms, four baths, a pool, a guest house, a recording studio, a hair salon, and an exercise room. And you can pick up this house for the bargain basement price of $1.9 million. And finally, folks, the beautiful 43-year-old actress Halle Berry has announced that she is three months pregnant. And Halle, I know you've waited for this moment all your life, so I just want to wish you all the best and congratulate you. Folks, on this day in history, back in 1920, an electric car set a speed record, completing a five-mile course in just 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Electric cars were popular until about 1920. People preferred them for their quiet engines and low maintenance, much like today. But when gas engines became mass-produced and cheaper to buy, the electric car faded away. Hey, did you guys see a film this past weekend? Halloween opened at $30.6 million. Superbad brought in 15.9 mil for a grand total of 92.7 million. Balls of Fury, 14.3 mil for a grand total of 17 million. The Bourne Ultimatum, I saw this film over the weekend, brought in 13.4 mil for a grand total of $203 million. And rounding out our top five, Rush Hour 3 brought in 10.8 mil for a grand total of $123 million. So if you went to see a film this weekend, I know tickets are expensive, so on behalf of the box office, I'd like to give you a great big thank you. Folks, in Celebrity Birthdays, Saturday Night Live's Jane Curtin turned 60 years old. Susie Kurtz, she was on a TV show called Sisters, she turned 63. Rosie Perez, 43, and Jeff Foxworthy, 49. And I'm sure they're all watching, so I just want to wish them all a great big old Hollywood Happens happy birthday. And shoutouts, I want to do a shoutout today to Morfix007. He's a new subscriber down in Australia, and his videos are fantastic, so check him out. That's M-O-R-P-H-I-X-007. And like I said before, I couldn't do a show like this without people like you. So thank you so much. Well, that's it for today's show. I thank you for watching. And I thank YouTube for providing this forum that lets you watch. I'm going to have another show real soon. I promise you that. So until then, take care, everybody. And I'll see you in Hollywood.